Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I'm back yet again with yet another Masterverse video. Today comes courtesy of my friends over at Mattel. We have an advanced look at their upcoming figure, the Deluxe Whiplash from the Masters of the Universe New Eternia subline of, of course, Masterverse. Big old Killer Croc looking guy. He is the tail thrashing warrior. Gorgeous artwork adorns the box in pure Masters of the Universe fashion. Of course, like I said, he hails from New Eternia, so he's a bit of a conceptual design, and you can screen grab this if you want to read up on the old Demon Zone Caligar Warrior. Pretty interesting. Here's some more characters that are coming soon, as were prior revealed. On the bottom, shows you how to attach the tail, and here is the barcode as well for when these start to hit store shelves. Should be within the next couple months, I would say. Uh, give or take. So, in either case, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new, the Mattel Masters of the Universe Masterverse line, Whiplash. And while I got all you tail thrashing warriors here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Lots of Motu videos uh, on my channel. But here's everything taken out of the packaging. And yes, there is a lot in the box, which is nice because, again, it's being touted as a deluxe figure. So I like when they kind of give you a whole lot in the box, not just the figure. He comes with a flat gray axe. It's nicely done. It's very simple. Nothing, no paint on it. He also comes with his big old orange spear. Again, being that they're flat, colors, no paint, it fits with Masters of the Universe, but as I've always said in my Masterverse videos, a little bit more paint would be nice. He comes with a pair of fists, has a little bit of a wash to it, nice and scaly. And then, an interesting accessory, you get a torch. That does have paint on it, and the wrappings around the base. And then, of course, you have this orange flame effect, which is equally as nice. And the two combine to create a lit torch. So, if you have a character figure that's going into a cave or something like that, well, you are all set with Whiplash's accessories. Now, besides the usual weapons and accessories, you have a full-on different look for Whiplash with some armored-up pieces. And that's where that whole conceptualized new Eternia look comes in. Nicely done, nicely painted. You've got the straps, pull the head off, go ahead and use the straps. You get the idea, it fits right on him. And you get a helmet as well, big old horned helmet. Very cool. The purples of the extra pieces go well with his greens, right? Very nicely done. And then you have his belt slash loincloth sort of deal. It's more of flat plastic. It has some purples. It also has some battle damage sort of on the front, which is kind of cool. I kind of like that, a little extra sculpt marks. But yeah, he actually looks pretty good. Either way, when I was first kind of checking it out, I thought, well, the armored stuff looks okay. I kind of prefer him without the armor. But then as I kind of looked at the articulation and such, as you'll soon see, I think the armored up version gives him a little bit more personality, gives him a little bit more of that warrior tail thrasher kind of look, right? But in terms of the figure itself, overall, he's a big, burly, scaly type reptile monster, which is totally cool. I totally dig that. The head portrait, I think that's the weakest part of the figure. It's there, There's something there, but the teeth, the paint, the way that it's painted, the way that it's kind of executed, doesn't really gel well with the rest of the body. The neck to the head looks weird. Now, don't get me wrong. The rest of the body is totally cool. It all very befitting of what we've seen in Masterverse thus far. I like they give him a wash. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his three-pronged feet. You got the orange belt. There's a lot of flat, basic color plastic. And then you get this big, long tail, which moves. It's Fairly easy to remove, right? Just kind of tug on it a little bit. It should come right out. But you can hook it in there, and I would say just let it stay. But it is a bendy, kind of, sort of. It's one of those really thicker sort of bendy wires. If anything, it's really good for helping him stand because he's a little bit back heavy. Obviously, he's got this big, huge rubber piece. Now, it's connected to his upper diaphragm that leads out to his back. So you can do some tail thrashing action 
which is totally cool, very befitting of the character description and whatnot. It will rotate. You see the underside. It's got a little bit different color green to it. So the tail does work. I appreciate it, but it's not as bendy as I would like. And you can kind of see the difference between the head to the neck. It just doesn't mesh well. They could have done that a little bit better, but when he has the armor on, you really don't notice that. But regardless, the head does see a lot of rotation, so I'm not discounting him on that. I definitely dig it. The arms, the bicep, he's got double jointed elbows. He's got the whole wrist swivel. It looks good, right? It works. He's got all kinds of articulated nonsense, although when you twist the waist, it kind of looks weird. You've got the legs, you've got swivel, you've got double jointed knees, you got swivel at the boots. It's big old scaly boots. <laughs> Feet, hands, head, everything moves, everything rotates, big old tail to boots. So he's not my favorite. He does the whole monster trick pretty well, but he's just largely, yeah, he's okay. But the cool part is, is that if you got Skeletor, and the rest of all his little goons and such. Yeah, he does scale well. So I definitely dig that. It's a nice cavalcade of villains. And Whiplash does definitely fit in. Minus the armor. I think he looks better without the armor when you want to put him with Skeletor. If you want to go New Eternia, definitely include the armor. So that will wrap it up for my quick early look at the brand new Masters of the Universe. Masterverse the Whiplash Deluxe figure. And thank you again to Mattel for setting this out for the purposes of this video. Masterverse has had a pretty good run thus far. Lots of new sculpts, lots of reuse, but I would say that for the most part, the reuse that you see is well hidden, but the monsters, all the cool, really interesting designs get their own sculpts, and that's really nice to see. I mean, look at Orko, for instance. That's probably a one-and-done sculpt. So I like the effort that Mattel is putting in, and especially with this new Whiplash with all the armor and the accessories, he's not a bad deluxe figure. Some things are kind of wonky, don't get me wrong, but overall, he'll fit in nicely with the rest of your figures. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, keep on bringing on the monsters of the Masterverse. I'm having a blast with them, and when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.